Good evening and welcome to the National Theatre for this, the third in our series of informal conversations with major performers. It has been a very exciting season so far, which has encompassed such performing giants as Sir Ian McKellen, Dame Judi Dench, and of course, Christopher Biggins. <laughs> but tonight we are to welcome a man who, although no giant, has nevertheless made a huge impression in his chosen field. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elton John. <laughs> Elton, do you mind if I call you Elton? No, no, it's fine. Good. Well, Elton. I'm sure the first question that, ev that everybody would like to ask you is this. Funny name, Elton. <laughs> How did you come by it? Well, I used to be in a band, and uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to become a singer in my own right, and I, I wanted to choose a name, and the saxophone player in the band was called Elton, so I chose that name. Mm -hmm. Did you ever consider John Elton? No. You, you didn't. No. Okay. <laughs> right, well, let's start with those early albums, then. One of which, I believe, was called simply Elton John. Yes, that's correct. And you didn't feel awkward with the name at all? <laughs> no. You didn't feel that people might say, wait a minute, they mean John Elton? They've cocked up the record sleeve and printed the bloody name the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it sounded great, and you know, I, I thought people would be more interested in the music rather than the name. Hmm. <laughs> now, to the songs themselves, many of the lyrics were, of course, written by Bernie Taupin. Yes, that's right. Yes. Well, I'd like to talk about Bernie for a while, since obviously he's been an enormous influence on your career. Yes, he has, yes. Tell me, did you ever discuss changing his name. <laughs> because presumably, Torpin Bernie would have been more consistent with your Elton John. Look, do you want to talk about the old songs or not? All right, all right, the songs. The old songs. Your song is a classic, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite popular, yes. Well, there is a verse in that song in which, talking about the eyes of the person that the song is about, you sing... Excuse me for asking, these things I do. You see, I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. Yes. What I'd like to know is this. Is it this sort of chronic forgetfulness <laughs> that led you to forget that Elton is not, in fact, a Christian name at all? It is a surname. And, uh, and not a very attractive one at that. Let's talk about something else, shall we? Forget the name. All right, Mr. John. <laughs> Let's talk about being a stage performer, should we? Tell me, do you ever watch other performers and get jealous? <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I follow you there. I mean, jealous of what? Well, for instance, Ben Elton. <laughs> I, I don't have to do this, you know. I just, I all right, all right. Look, this. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. Oh. All right. Fair enough. Moving on, then. M many consider your masterpiece, of course, to be the album Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. And there is one song that people are particularly moved by called... called Candle in the Wind. Yes, a lot of people seem to like that song. Now, this song is, in fact, dedicated to Norma Jean Baker, who, of course, changed her name to Monroe Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. My point exactly. <laughs> Marilyn is a Christian name, so it comes first. Can't you see that? Are you word blind or something? I mean, it's... I've had enough of this. Oh, all right, sorry. no, 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 wait, please. I'm sorry. See, please. I'm, I'm sorry it was my mistake. I'm sorry. There's only one more question to go. It won't take long, really. It won't take a moment. Sorry, there's only... I, I am... Please, sit down. One final question. You've obviously achieved enormous success over the years. 
But in fact, you didn't have a solo British number one until this year with a song called Sacrifice. Now, my big question is this. <laughs> Surely, you wouldn't have had to wait so long for a number one <laughs> if it hadn't been for your stupid, pointless, bloody name! <laughs> Bang! What a head, Dick. 